Hello again and uh, in this lecture we'll learn about the PLC overview. So basically PLC has uh, uh, is associated with the IO card so uh, in similar fashion as in DCS so all these fill signals will be connected to the IO cards and then from IO cards PLC will have their own controller and, and it is dedicated to one APIs only so we can uh, often often we can use one HMI as well as if workstation is required yes we can um, attach one workstation also we can keep a story and as well as we can keep the same application of the story and on the same workstations as well so from a uh, small to uh, small uh, requirement to a large requirement also we can uh, we can see this plc's so plc's are like we can start with uh, smaller area but uh, it's not like that only for the smaller area so where the batch process or where the uh, discrete logic is required digital logic is more used as well. those places uh, we have seen a very large plc networks as well so uh, here on the right side we can see there is one example of uh, allen bradley plc architecture so control logics uh, control logics you can see here it is a open high source control platform for multiple types of control that can perform sequential pro sequential logics it can also control process logics drives motions controls or or any any other uh, type of requirements as well so control logics is a flexible platform and uh, that allows multiple processors networks and ios to be mixed without restrictions so uh, as per the requirement so if it is a very less requirement then definitely this type of architecture we can go with but but if the requirement is uh, uh, high and application uh, grows then we can use netlinks architecture also for the control information uh, uh so so in that case we can uh, define ethernet control net and device net three types of network as well so control net uh, controller uh, uh, can also communicate through backplane communication interface module to monitor and monitor and control the ios on control net device net and and uh, ethernet as well so uh, separate communication modules you need to plug for that if you want to control everything everything from uh, everything from the control net but uh, if you have uh, but if control net communication module is available in the same chassis or, or, the, or the control gateway the control network is an open uh, high speed uh, network used to transferring the data it provides the real time control messaging services to peer communication then we have device net so device net is also an open low level connection link and that has a connection between simple process measurement devices like uh, sensors and actuators so basically uh, device net is the lowest level of communication and it is getting directly data from the field we can say or or, or the control logics can get they get data for our, via field foundation bus directly from the field uh, but uh, control net from here we can control or we can get all those data from all these networks uh, subject to we have all those required modules the ethernet network is on the top and ethernet network is the local area network designed for the high speed exchange of information between computers and related so as as in DCS ethernet uh, protocols are there above level 2 and level 3 so what are these levels okay we'll understand in next chapter and it will be or upcoming chapter so it will be easy to understand about the levels and then apart from these uh, ethernet control net device net there are other networks also like serial network field network and and that is also common in dcs also and plc's also so basically plc network is just example of plc network and there are multiple examples of uh, plc network you can see the plc related courses for depth uh, in this we'll we'll just stick to the high level architecture and we'll uh, we'll see how how we can implement a uh, uh, cyber security measures for this type of network also so uh, let's move to the next chapter thank you